because for some reason, it's the job of the US government to set up ex in extremely lucrative uh, arms deals with foreign countries. I don't know why, but it is, whether Democrat or Republican, they go around the world trying to set up these sorts of deals to ship arms around the world. Um, the White House recently had Saudi officials over to discuss a possible deal and something a little bit weird happened. So the two sides, this is a Jared Kushner, head of International arms sales, in addition to everything else, and the Saudis discussed a shopping list that included planes, ships, and precision guided bombs. Then an American official raised the idea, totally unscripted, of the Saudis buying a sophisticated radar system designed to shoot down ballistic missiles. This is the same radar system, by the way, that received so much discussion about its deployment in South Korea recently to help to counter the, uh, the possible influence of ballistic missiles from North Korea, the THAAD system, it's called. So uh, sensing that the cost of that system might be a problem, several uh, administration officials said, Mr. Kushner picked up the phone and called the chief executive of Lockheed Martin, uh, who produces the radar system, and asked her whether she could cut the price. As his guests watched slack-jawed, Mrs. Houston told him she would look into it, officials said. And the early word is that they're going to be able to get some sort of deal. I don't know the exact details of it. And so I get, I mean, he loves to make deals, that's what Trump and his cronies do. But to arm the Saudis, how much effort they're going into, the personal capital they're willing to expend, but the, I don't understand it. Especially since Trump's been critical of Saudi Arabia, like a off lot. the cuff all the time. It's it's a line he goes to. Maybe he knows it works with his base, maybe, but you know, they were like, I hey, guess. those fucking Saudis. Don't, yeah. worry, don't worry about it. We're gonna, so. Don't worry, we're gonna get you your arms. Don't worry about it. Worry. I guess it's a public and a private position, I that, suppose. I, it sounds like it. I guess. They're, they're not, because he's trying to get them deals. Yeah, you're right. He criticized <laughs> him throughout the campaign. Yeah. Now, this is an area, though, where, like, so the, the Jared Kushner thing is a little bit weird. The personal deal making that we don't, if it happens normally, we don't hear about it normally. So it, it is weird. But this really isn't all that bizarre historically for the US. So we wanted to put this in context of this deal because there's a lot of details about how some of the weapons that are gonna be sold were actually already negotiated under former President Obama. And so we brought up how much we sell to Saudi Arabia year by year. So let's bring up this chart and you're gonna see that we, and those are billions there on the left hand side. It goes back a long time. Now there have been previous periods where multiple years in a row we sold more generally. But look at that spike under Obama back in 2012, a huge amount of arms being sold to Saudi Arabia specifically in just one year. So look, the average is going to shoot up under Trump, that's true. But man, we've been selling them arms for a long time. Has it bought us security? I don't know, there's a lot of trouble coming out of that region and out of Saudi Arabia specifically. A whole lot of those arms sales come before 9-11, oddly enough. <laughs> and so it looks like off into the future, we're gonna continue to do it. Well, no matter the what. The same policy, Republican, Democrat, Republican, Democrat, doesn't matter. We sell them billions of dollars. But as wow. we do it, they'll still say this is a new wave of a new way to bring some kind of security and our foothold in yeah. the Middle East and have some kind of allies that we're working with to make sure there's peace and stability and it's a new wave. It's the same wave. Same yeah. wave. So why are we doing it, you think? Why do we sell all the, why do both Republican, Democrat, doesn't matter, Trump's gonna do it now? I guess to some extent it's trying to make sure that the regime is as positive towards us as possible. Maybe this will limit their funding for, for terrorism and stuff like that. We like them more than we like some other potential allies or adversaries in the region, I guess they would say. So we, but we also know that a lot of these weapons are gonna immediately be used in Yemen. I know that Iran obviously worried about this because theoretically these weapons could be used on Iran, which would be a gigantic military conflict. Some of it, Israel isn't a huge, Israel is a fan to some extent of some of these weapons being sold because it's an extra buffer against Iran. But they don't necessarily want, especially like the, the radar system, the ability to shoot down ballistic missiles. Like theoretically the day could come when that cuts a significant ability of our ability to counter Saudi Arabia. And so look, we armed, Saddam Hussein in Iraq for years and years, and then eventually go to war with him. And I guess we make money coming and going in that case. I guess the same thing will happen here. But to the average American, this chart doesn't make 
any sense when you, th you can't see the chart. It's the same chart you saw. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. So it's, I think it's because of the petrodollar, which is why we've been overthrowing democratically elected governments in the Middle East and mm -hmm. backing strong arm theocracies like this because the CIA does not like democracies because democracies are messy. Yeah. And sometimes the people vote to keep their natural resources. Yeah. Sometimes they vote and work towards their own benefit. Yeah, and so when weird. they do that, we have to go in and, and do something bad like we do in Haiti, we did in the banana wars, General Smith. In Iran. We did, it, right, Iran, well, so that was, an, um, we got rid of Mossadegh who was the Democrat elected president and we installed the Shah, which was a puppet and that's how we got a theocracy, right? Yeah. So that's the pushback to us getting rid of democracies there. So the same thing, by the way, John Kerry testified, I think in 2015, he definitely testified, I don't know what year, but he said that Saudi Arabia, he was trying to impress upon the Senate that Saudi Arabia was committed to overthrowing Bashir in Syria. Yeah. And he said that they had offered to pay for the entire military operation if we did it. So that's what's been happening. We offered to use our military, lend out our military to Saudi Arabia as long as they continue to monetize oil on the petrodollar. Yeah. And that's what this is all about. That's why we're in Syria. It's got nothing to do with helping people because if we wanted to help people, we would stop selling cluster bombs to Saudi yeah. Arabia, who they then drop on fishing villages in Yemen, the poorest people in the world. So the fact that we're trying to overthrow Bashar al-Assad because he's bad to his people is bullshit. You're saying it's not about beautiful babies? It's not about about beautiful babies because we is sell it partly about beautiful babies. It's partly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, and so I mean, look, sorry. So this things. is all about the petrol dollar, and that's why we're in the Middle East, and there's no other reason. So for what it. you're saying is our military isn't here to protect us. No. That's get off the set. I know. Get off the set. Wow. Yeah. And look, if they had done that deal, if we had, if we, I mean, to some extent we did, but let's say we had invaded <laughs> Syria and they paid us for it. I mean, does that help out the average American? No. But the military contractors, they yes. don't care what the objective is. It's not like, well, we only get paid if the bomb is dropped on someone truly horrible. <laughs> no, they get paid either way. Where's where's the end? How many billions upon billions? You just flood them with cash decade after decade and it's an endless hunger 20, killing the rest of us. 26,000 bombs in Syria yeah. last year. Now look. I want to give minimal credit to Obama in this area after criticizing him. Now, one area where they weren't going to help out Saudi Arabia is the Obama administration put a hold on precision guided munitions. It had agreed to sell the Saudis previously out of fear that they would be used to bomb civilians in Yemen, which they would have which been. We know that. <laughs> yes. The Trump administration has freed up those weapons. So Obama wasn't going to sell them. Now they will be sold. I guess, look, if you're, if you're a fisherman in Yemen, Maybe you prefer the precision guided bombs to the cluster bombs because there's slightly less chance that they're gonna sit yeah. there for weeks or months or yeah. years and be found by a kid and blow up and kill yeah. a kid. Like that's what happens with cluster bombs. But again, it looks like all the, the, the bars are gone. Saudi Arabia can do whatever the hell they want. There's gonna be no leadership from America for even minimal concern for human rights, even if that's the sort of skin on us advancing the interests of military contractors. And it's weird it's that it's a disastrous says, situation. It is, and it's weird that the New York Times says after a strained relationship with Mr. Obama, the Saudi Arabia, they had a strained relationship. <laughs> he sold them 119 billion dollars worth of fucking arms. Yeah, I don't know how strained that is. <laughs> right? Minimally strained. 100 of everything. I would bet. It was the yeah. Anyway, so that that's going on right now. Uh, as we previously said, Trump will be in Saudi Arabia. We'll see if that changes the the content of this deal. If any additional weapons or weapon systems are given to them, um, but that's what we got going on right now. So his, anyway, his base though is pretty non-interventionist. Being, being Trump. I'm not talking the Republican Party. I'm talking Trump's yeah. Republican mm -hmm. base, and they're non interventionist So every time he does something interventionist, they do get pissed off at him. Even I wonder how long that'll last though. They, I agree they were, and they liked the America First talk and everything. Mm -hmm. But they also bow down to authority. They love Trump. They do Their love opinion authority. of Trump doesn't seem to be dependent on what he says or does. Mm -hmm. He reverses on everything. And if he reverses on this and starts to get more involved, they can cloak it as, hey, he's killing Muslims. Yeah. And we know who, they're not fans of them. Who's the Trump um, non interventionist base? Are these. People that with names we know, or are they just the random people that read his rallies? Supposedly random people. So those random people at his rallies didn't read this article because it says, first off, New York Times. Um, <laughs> number two, yeah, it's probably not two and a half pages long. And then after that, they, they probably don't understand, or if, if you looked into it, they would read to the maybe fifth to sixth paragraph where it said the Obama administration did the same thing at a high scale. Um, and then then there's the, 
there's that, wait a second, does, this doesn't compute. I thought I hate the everything that Barack Obama did. Because yeah. we never talked about that when Obama was in right. and said, look how horrible he is. Republican uh, elected officials didn't come out and say, well, look at all these arms he's selling, he's wasting our money. No, because right. they liked that They're part. Both, mm -hmm. So what happens on this side, it's look at this new wave of selling arms yeah. to our ally to make sure more horrible things don't happen to the region, yeah. which then somehow comes back and happens. He did us. make one good move though, in having Jared Kushner be the person to negotiate it, it provided an out for the conspiracy theory info war sector. Cuz obviously they don't, the idea that Trump, America first Trump is gonna sell weapons to Saudi Arabia, they hate Saudi Arabia. Oh, But they sent the Jewish guy to do it. So it's Jewish elites, that's what they <laughs> always say, that's always the out for them. I thought he was a good one though in their eyes. No, they fucking hate him. Really? Yeah, 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 in the past, that. when Trump has reversed position on big things that he said he was gonna do, the conspiracy theorists always say, this is the goddamn Jews in the administration doing it. And they've, they've specifically attacked the effeminate Jared Kushner. Anyway, so expect that that's probably going to happen. We're not the Young Turks, you're the Young Turks. You power this show. Together we built something amazing. We've broken stories like the Donna Brazil story, the mainstream media wouldn't break. We built the studio, we built this network, it's now number one. All thanks to you guys. Let's come build it even bigger and stronger. tytnetwork.com slash join.